Next tonight, a look at lingering concerns with cannabis. Despite recreational marijuana being legal now in more than half the states, including here in New York, uh, the worry that we're digging into is with pregnant women. There's new research showing a growing number of people are turning to cannabis to help with things like nausea, problems sleeping, stress, and depression. And of course, those are all common issues during pregnancy. Let's talk about that and more tonight with our favorite pediatrician, Dr. Steve Turkovich, who is president of Oshai Children's Hospital. Dr. Turkovich, great to see you as always. What should expectant moms know about cannabis use and, and how concerned are you by this latest research? With These are common things during pregnancy. Yeah, we, we say healthy mom equals healthy baby. So a good diet, good exercise, no drugs, no alcohol, um, and no smoking is really what makes a healthy mom and a healthy baby. There's growing research that shows cannabis affects both mom and baby. In the short term, it increases mom's risk for hypertension or high blood pressure, which can cause small babies, can also cause placental abruption. That's where the placenta bleeds. It can actually be an emergency. On the baby side, a new study just came out that showed that babies that are exposed to cannabis in utero at age five have higher rates of poor judgment, impulsivity, ADHD, um, and difficulty planning. So some of that is executive functioning seems to be affected. Um, now, obviously, that could also continue on later on in life, but we now see that at least five years after pregnancy, there are lingering effects of cannabis exposure. I also want to ask you, you know, we're now obviously in the middle of cold and, and flu season. There's this proposal from the FDA to remove oral phenylephrine, a common ingredient in many popular over-the-counter decongestants. Um, they're citing evidence that, that it just doesn't work. Um, if these medicines don't work as the FDA claims, how do people get the relief that, that they used to help us with here? Yeah, this is you know obviously going to uh, cold and flu season, nasal congestion is a real big issue. Um, and I really give kudos to the FDA because it's not that this is unsafe, it just simply doesn't work. So why buy something that doesn't work, especially when you're feeling miserable? Things like nasal sprays, um, nasal saline in particular, which is basically just salt water works really well. For babies, you wanna combine nasal saline and a bulb suction to help uh, bring out all the, the goop that's in there. Um, and then if you have uh, congestion due to allergies, things like Benadryl and, and other oral antihistamines Histamines can also help. So there's alternatives to this, but um, certainly this product is, is not helpful, so I would just avoid it. There you have it, Dr. Steve Turkovich, president of Oshai Children's Hospital. See you next Tuesday, Steve. Thank you. Thank you.